This is my gun safe. It's a 24 gun Liberty Safe Centurion. Um, I bought it directly from Liberty, uh, from their website. Um, their website's super rad. If you order from their website, um, you can customize the safe however you want it to be. Um, you can customize the dial, customize the handle, color, interior, you know, lights, electronics, whatever. Um, and once you purchase it, it directs you to your closest dealer. Um, and then for me, like for me, it was um, Dean Safe in Los Angeles. Um, and if that dealer has it in stock, um, they'll just send it to you or you can select to have it delivered um, or they'll build it and then deliver it to you. I think for Dean's it was like an extra hundred bucks and they delivered it and installed it, um, which was a lifesaver because these things are super heavy. Um, so this particular one, I had it, uh, I had lights installed, I got the electronics in the back installed, um, and then I went with the electronic combination um, and a door organizer. Um, I ended up not really liking the door organizer only because um, I have a lot of magazines and they were taking up a lot of space on the inside of the safe and it's a pretty small safe um, because I don't really have a lot of room to work with. So I looked around online trying to find different solutions. Um, I really wanted a Molly solution but it didn't seem that there was any companies that were really making um, Molly gun safe door organizers. Um, so I, I ended up stumbling on this um, forum post by this guy who had basically custom made his own um, Molly door safe organizer and it looked super rad. So I basically ripped off his idea. And I'll link that below. So I started with a um, Molly panel uh, from Wild Custom Gear um, and basically you go on that guy's website and I don't know if it's like one guy or whatever um, but you go on their website and you tell them what size you need so you measure the inside of the door um, and you tell them what size you need and they make it to the exact measurements that you give them um, and then they ship it to you and I was expecting the turnaround to be take forever um, but he actually shipped it really fast, so I was really pleasantly surprised. The quality is awesome. Um, it comes with these grommets, um, but I didn't end up using them because they um, ended up being like right on the pegs that screw the wood into the door. Um, but it does come with Velcro on the back. I think there's like five, like three or four inch. Um, strips of velcro that go all the way across. I was kind of worried about them not really holding because all these mags are full. Um, so I was worried the weight was going to kind of like pull it off of the felt um, on the back of the door, but it's holding completely fine. Um, there's a couple of spots where it's like kind of pulling away a little bit, but it's on there. It's not coming off. So not that big of a deal. That guy's articles, um, I don't know how old it is or his post. I don't know how old it is, but um, uh, some of some of the links were dead. Some of the stuff was out of stock. Couldn't find it anywhere. So I had to kind of like scour around the internet and find different solutions for um, the stuff that was that I couldn't find. Um, but these uh, handgun mag pouches are made by Tough Products. I got them on CheaperThanDirt.com. Um, Super rad. Um, not really practical for anything other than this. I don't think. Um, but they come with this big panel that um, flips over to keep your mags from popping out or whatever if you have them on a chest uh, plate carrier or a backpack or whatever. Um, but I didn't need that obviously. So I just took it off. Um, it's just attached to the Velcro on the back side here so you can just pop it right off um, and put the nameplate on there. Um, these are Condor pouches I think. Yeah. And I got these from tacticalgear.com. Um, super cheap, um, not super well made, um, but they'll work. Uh, I don't really care because they're never going to be taken off of this. So it'll work fine for me. Um, same with the, M, uh, the M5 pouches. Uh, these are also Condor. Um, surprisingly, not a lot of options for M5 mag pouches. 
Um, same with AK, hard, really hard to find um, Molly mag pouches for AKs. These are 511, got them from 511. Um, super, like, the quality's good, um, but they're a little bulky and a little more than I needed and a little bit more money than I wanted to spend. But again, not a lot of options. Um, and then same with the M4s are the uh, Condor pouches. And then for the pouches that don't have Velcro already on them, I just use like a double-sided Velcro you can get from Home Depot for like, it's like double-sided tape with Velcro. Um, and you can get those for like, you can get it for like five bucks at Home Depot. Um, I had it at the house already because I was using it for something else. And so that worked out perfect. Um, and then for the nameplates, I just went to militarynames.com. You can customize it to make it say whatever you want, whatever color you want, whatever size you want. Um, caps lock, not a caps lock. Uh, so, and super cheap, really quick turnaround. Um, really awesome. So that's basically how I did it. I ran out of space really fast. I still have a lot of mags, um, but it did free up a lot of space uh, in my safe. Uh, for more guns, because who doesn't want more guns? So, yeah, that's the inside of my safe. Hope you dig it.